How creating habits makes you happier. What are habits and why does it matter? Habits are the things that we do without even realizing it. They are not always good for us, but they can also be helpful. The reason why habits matter is because they can affect our lives in a lot of ways. Good habits can help us be healthier and happier. They can also make life easier and more enjoyable in general. But bad habits can have negative consequences like making us unhealthy and unhappy, or burdening our lives with more stress than necessary. The key to having good habits is to understand what they are, how they work, and how to create them for yourself. Why good habits make us happier? Studies have shown that 40% of our happiness stems from events in our life, for the short term. Regardless of whether the event was made possible by a dream job, a new car, or a new home, it will only last so long and eventually return to your base level of happiness. In other words, happiness that lasts is the kind that comes from within and stems from our values. That value is then translated into habits in our lives. Habits are things we usually have control over, which can have a big impact on our happiness. For instance, work habits or family habits may serve as some of the main components to determine your level of happiness and feeling fulfilled. Habits are powerful. They can make us happier, healthier, and more productive. In this video, I'll explain the power of habits and how to form good ones. 1. The Power of Habits, The Habitual Brain The brain has a lot of power over our thoughts and actions. The brain is always making decisions. Whether or not we realize it, our brains are always trying to predict what will happen in the future and what to do about it. 2. How to form good and lasting habits. In order to form good habits, it's important to understand the science behind habit formation. First, habits are formed by creating a routine and maintaining it for weeks. It then takes 20 to 30 days before that routine becomes a habit. The best way to form a new habit is by combining two things, the routine itself and an incentive or motivation for doing that routine. Habits can be formed in a variety of ways. Some people use the strategy of if-then planning to form habits. They decide on the desired behavior and then they plan what they will do if they find themselves in a situation where that behavior would be appropriate. For example, if you want to drink more water, then you could plan to only drink water when you feel thirsty or plan to carry a water bottle with you. Other people use the strategy of chaining to form habits. They start with the desired behavior and then associate it with something else that is already part of their daily routine. For example, if someone wants to go running every day, then they might start by doing some stretching exercises for 5 minutes after waking up in the morning, and then gradually work up to 30 minutes of running as their new habit. 3. The Science Behind Forming Habits The brain is a fascinating organ. If we look at the human brain, one of the things that we can see is that it is constantly changing. It changes in response to what it learns and what it encounters. One example of this could be seen with habits. The brain can change in response to forming habits so when forming new habits, the brain changes in response to repetition. Habits may seem like the most insignificant detail in your life, but the truth is that they can be a powerful tool for growth. By taking the steps to form a simple habit, you could cultivate a new skill or interest within yourself and create a new life. Four, why good habits make us happier. Good habits make us happier because they help us to live a more balanced, healthy, and satisfying life. They give us a sense of accomplishment and control over our lives. When you develop good habits, you're able to maintain a balance between your work life and personal life. For example, if you go to the gym every day after work, then there's no need to worry about fitting in your workout routine into your time schedule on the weekends. When we develop good habits, we have more free time for ourselves. By incorporating small daily habits in your life, 
It's easier for you to focus on the things that you want to accomplish instead of spending time on things that have no long-term value. The power of positive reinforcement in creating a new habit. The human brain is a powerful machine. It is constantly learning and making new connections. For the brain to learn, it needs to be exposed to new information and stimuli. But what does this have to do with habits? It turns out that the brain is always trying to make sense of the world around us. When we see something that's puzzling or confusing, our brains want to figure it out so that we can feel more comfortable in our surroundings. This is where habits come in. Habits are just things that you do automatically because your brain knows how they will turn out and wants them repeated so it can feel safe again. Habits are often created when people pair an action with a reward. For example, getting a cookie after eating all your vegetables or watching TV as a reward for finishing your homework. This means that the reward encourages you to repeat that action, so you get more of the reward. Now that we know the importance of our daily habits and how they're at play in our lives, let's take inventory of what habit we want to change. Make sure to have healthy habits, as they will pay off in the long run. Thank you for watching Healthy Habits Hacker and be sure to subscribe to receive more videos like this.